time there. Radukan seventh and uh, the Hungarian in eighth position. So with two rotations to go, it really is wide open. This European title literally is anybody's for the taking. And of course, we'll be seeing more from Britain's Lisa Mason as well coming into the third and final rotation of these European Championships in Bercy Stadium, Paris. We'll take another quick commercial break here on Eurosport. We'll be back with part two after these short messages. Stay with us. France Telecom. Official partner of the French national gymnastics team. On 10 or 15. Here at Championships for Autistic Gymnastics, we're at the halfway point with Simona Amenor, the runner-up in this event two years ago. Looking very comfortable in the lead at the moment, but first to go in the third of four rotations is Olga Rashkupina. Volt, the younger Ukrainian. If you just joined us in this European Championship event, two volts to be performed. The average score of the two taken and added to the three other apparatus scores. The highest score for the four pieces will be crowned the European champion. Fair to say this is the last major tournament before the Sydney Olympic Games. Just Maria Olaru, the world all-around champion, perhaps the only top name absent from today's proceedings. Rashkupina very much in the chase for the title so far. Just to remind my co-commentator sitting next to me, she's already put her money down on the table and tipped this young performer as a potential medalist in Sydney. And so far she's looking most impressive. Well, Voltaire slightly low, but the very fact that she is a tackling fault like that at the tender age of 16 after already having had major surgery on an Achilles tendon injury says what kind of stickability this kid has got. They round off, half twist on and half twist into one and a half back somersault. It could be a debating full on, which from the side angle it looks, and from the end angle it almost looks like only a half with a coir though. But that is, to all intents and purposes, a full twist on, even though she doesn't make it. So for being under-twisted on the top of the apparatus, she will lose a couple of tenths. And she's down on tariff. As I said, the big guns are looking for nine, between nine-eighths and ten tariff volts. The second volt to go. Very demanding. And in the pike position and very much better executed. She had better contact with the horse. The whole thing had better dynamics altogether. 9418, the score. And Rash Kupina is staying in the chase. And there we go. Same vault in the pike position, but for my money, she's only getting three quarters of a twist onto the top. There you see the second hand position not crossed around. Looks as though she's screaming while she's going over the top. Very upright hurdle step. Quite unusual. But smashing performance there from the young Ukraine in total. Quickly over to the floor. Early leader, Victoria Karpenko. Arabian devil somersault into punch front. Very laid back performer. One and a half twist walk out. Punch front pike on the end of the series. Well controlled and worked out on. Well. 
hairspray, like Jim. And Karpenko woos the judges in a different way by her sheer acrobatic skill rather than her dance. Pulling back out to finish. A wry grin at the end. Take that. <laughs> she says it with magnificent tumbling. Uh, technical purity in her dance, uh, be it not the most charismatic of performances. Absolutely, Monica. Well pointed out there. And we're starting to see a clear difference in styles between the Ukrainians and the Romanians and the Russians who seem to be the team and the individual performers full of the creativity and the personality but there is no question that the technical attention to detail in this performance Victoria Karpenko's floor routine exceptional she demonstrates so much variety and uh, is very calm she looks so capable of producing everything, nothing looks in effort. Top qualifier, of course, picked up the best points there. She is the world ranked number two, but currently leading, coming into this third rotation for the Romanian team, is Simone Amanar. She really has been very consistent throughout, and many say that's the name of the game in the all-around competition. And that a very good, long, high, well-executed vault. And uh, I think that uh, currently Korkina is in first place. And if Aminar puts in two volts like 